All right, welcome back to Good Day. Time is 7-11, and joining us now, we have Greg Duke with the Lee County Touchdown Club. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Greg. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you guys do and who you raise money for. Uh, the Lee County Touchdown Club is, also, is a group of parents, mainly, that are uh, mm -hmm. there to support the football program. And uh, these money that are raised will uh, help support their uh, out-of-town travels, uh, special equipment as needed that the coach sees that is fitting into the program. Okay. And uh, also uh, helps at the same time uh, give local uh, businesses a chance to advertise and uh, capture a large audience. Okay, and uh, what, when do you guys usually start doing this? Or is this an all-year process? Well, we're, uh, we're in full gear right now. Mm -hmm. We've uh, started the process a few weeks ago, getting organized with our Booster Club okay. meetings and uh, uh, also with, uh, at the same time, you know, we're wanting to uh, pack the stadium out. We've got an 8,000 seat stadium and we've uh, got a lot of exciting things going on this year in the Lee County football program. We've brought in some new coaches. Uh, one of them, a uh, new defensive coordinator who's okay. a prodigy of Luther Welch. A lot of folks from South Georgia will okay. recognize that name. He taught, mm -hmm. coached at Darty for, in, about 12, 13 years, and uh, became the most winning co winningest coach in the state of Georgia, actually. Wow. And uh, so we got a, Mark Daniels will be our new defensive coordinator, okay. and uh, hoping to see some good improvements in that area. So uh, right. a lot of exciting things happening with the Lee County football program, and the Booster Club is there just to make sure everything runs smoothly. Okay, and uh, for, this will be for the 2012 and 2013 season, correct? Correct, it sure okay. will. And uh, what, what is the need? I, I mean, how is the basis? Uh, what are you, what are your guys' needs right now as we speak? Well, as always, you're you're looking for funds to support all the right. uh, different needs. Like I so said, there's always some special equipment the coaches are looking right. for. Uh, being an extracurricular activity, the school systems cannot use the taxpayers' money right. to f buy these supplies. So the uh, as uh, the coach sees these needs, he'll make a request to the booster club, okay. and the booster club is there to support that need. Yeah. And uh, we always want to keep the players safe, keep them hydrated, yep. keep them uh, on the field in a good presence, and of course, uh, get them to and from their destinations. A lot of sure. travel involved, you know, in away games and the like. Uh, any improvements to the stadium recently? Uh, yeah, the uh, the immediate uh, need that's being addressed is uh, the sidelines where the football players are constantly standing right. and packing down the grass and killing the grass. Okay. We're actually going to go with some turf, All right. and uh, that's going to. Uh, a small uh, beautification project there and uh, one of the big goals is, is uh, to actually get it to a, a speed turf for the whole football field itself. Okay, great. So that's sort of our long range goals there for the Alrighty. Booster Club. All right, we'll talk more with Greg coming up in just a few minutes, but now we're going to go outside and talk with Melanie. 